Shall your brothers go to war and you sit your behind here? That's what Moses is saying. You got to correlate that with many of us today. You got some brothers in the war, in this fight, and other brothers just sitting back. He's even brought his prophets out here to try to get you to understand to start doing his laws, statutes, and commands. Where are they? Who are they? So this world was given to them. All because of what we didn't do. First name, act like the fool. But when it all comes down to it, I guarantee they choose their people over you. Hey! Social injustice, economic justice. Right we don't care about pleasing the most high God. Right. We hate God. That's the final issue. Alright, hey, come here, brother. Uh, uh, at ease, Israel. Hey, bro. Come talk to me real quick. Go to Genesis. That way. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. What's your name? I'm Officer Mattathias. Oh, crazy. So you said you're Muslim, right? Now let's see where Islam comes from. Actually, give me that, uh, give me that book real quick first. Uh, Babylon the Temple 2. Because Islam was started by the Arabians, who we know as the Arabians today, by the prophet this Muhammad. I can't call him a prophet because I'll show you why. Read this. The book. Oh, this is uh, the the from Babylon Temple 2 by uh, Rudolf R. Windsor. He's an accredited historian. He's been all over the Middle East doing real deep studies. He brings out the truth about who the blacks of the planet are, from the Hebrews to the so-called Africans, all that. Right? Read. Page 45. It's the book of Islam. When Muhammad was born, many Arabs were still worshiping the sun, stars, spirits, and idols. The Arab possessed 360 idols for one for each day of the year. So, before the Prophet Muhammad, well, the so-called Prophet Muhammad was raised up to being called a prophet, his people were serving multiple gods, as you just read, over 360. But they adopted, what is it called, monotheism from the Hebrews. We're going to show you that in this book also, right? Read. Muhammad was born A.D. 570, four years after the death of Emperor Justinian. He was descended from the tribe of Quraysh and the family of Hashem. His, menta his mentality was prodigious, excuse me. In his youth, he was never taught to read or write, but his imagination was superlative. So that's a big thing to realize, because it's going to go into what we're going to tell you. Muhammad never learned how to read or write, right? That's why the book of Qur the Quran actually means re to recite. It's a recitation of something. We're going to get into that, read. Muhammad was in, a, in the early years of Muhammad's life, he passed his time as a shepherd boy. So he was like a, he was just basically a base person. He couldn't read, write, and he was a shepherd boy, right? Now, uh, go, go to, flip the page. Check it out, Let me see, no! Let me see what else what I want. Read that. Muhammad, okay, this is it. The first stage of the Islamic revolution. Muhammad spent many days in the hills outside of Mecca. He was immersed deeply in the deplorable conditions of his people and he wanted to lead them away from moral turpitude and idolatry. He seemed to him that the angel Gabriel appeared commissioning... It said what? It seemed to him that the angel Gabriel appeared. So, he was bugged out. It said it seemed to him that the angel Gabriel appeared. Gabriel, the angels didn't deal with anybody outside of Israel. The prophecies weren't given to nobody out of Israel. Because what you're going to learn is Muhammad based a lot of his teach, all of his teachings mainly off the Bible, but with his own distorted view to, ple to make his people stop serving so many gods and come under one God, because that's what he learned from being around the Jews. It was monotheism, meaning the serving of one God. The word mono means one, right? Read. So, Islam and Judaism. The Prophet Muhammad adopted many principles and laws from the Jewish religion. The Jews, he loved it. Many principles and laws from the Jews. That's why to be a Muslim, you got to know the Old Testament. To be a Muslim, you have to know the Old Testament of the Bible because the Old Testament gives you the prophecy of where his forefather came from. You got, they wouldn't know their forefather was Ishmael without biblical prophecy. And I'm going to show you that, that the Arabians come from Ishmael. Watch. After, after we read this, we're going to bring that out. Read. 
First of all, the basic idea of monotheism, which is the belief in one God. Monotheism. Yeah. The Jewish confession of the un unity of God is Shema, Israel Adonai. Mm, okay. Shema Israel. Yeah. The, Ma <laughs> the Mohammedan slogan is as follows. La ili. Ihilya ila Allah Muhammad Rasul Allah. There is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the prophet of Allah. Muhammad adopted also the main details of the Jewish calendar, the Day of Atonement, the Shabbat, much of the Bible and narrated from the Medrash and many points of the ritual law. So what you got to realize is Muhammad couldn't read or write. So he learned these things from being around the Jews. And that's why the Quran is called a recitation, because he just recited the things that he learned from being around the Jews. Right. He never got no vision from Gabriel. That's right. Bring it out. None of that. All that was garbage. Now let's get that in the Bible real quick. Give me that. In uh, Genesis, I think it's 16. Let me Genesis 16. We're going to see where the uh, quote on the, the man Muhammad's forefather came from. Because he was an Arabian. Everybody knows that. You know that, right? So now... If the Ara this is an Arabian doctrine made by an Arabian man. Even though you claim to be African, that couldn't be for you if it was for the Arabians. Now watch this. Let's see what the Bible says. So I'll start at verse 16 11 first. It says, and the book of Genesis chapter 16 and verse 11. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, there art with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael. So this was our forefather Abraham's uh, wife's handmaid, that the wife that uh, Sarah gave to him because she was barren and couldn't have kids. But when she let, when she, when uh, Haggai had kids, she started clowning Sarah for being, and then Sarah got pissed, slapped her up, and sent her on her way. And Haggai ran. Actually, she fled. And then the angel of the Lord comes to her where she, where she fled to, which was in the wilderness. Read. And uh, excuse me, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction, and he will be a. Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son. And shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. So that's what Ishmael means, affliction heard. Right? And he will be a wild man. What? A wild man. His hand will be against every man. And every and every man's hand against him. Now, when you think about those attributes, a wild man, his hand against everybody's, and everybody's hands against him, does that not fit the Arabs of today? Bring it up. But the Arabs will go into a building, yell Allah Akbar, and blow themselves up. Can't say that. Now all, all like that. Now, all okay, but who does that though as a nation of people? Shiites. I'm not a Shiite. But that's Sooner. but you're not even Arabian. You yeah. see you think you're African. <laughs> so that's even more confusion. You're you're African under an Arabian doctrine. The real Muslims are, those original Muslims, they're about war. They went to war. That's how they converted people to Islam was through war. They didn't become Muslim and when we lived in the other countries except through war. Just like we didn't become Christians except through war, Bring it the destruction out. of our people, rape, pillaging, robbing. Right. That's the same Bring thing in the transatlantic. Everybody knows about the transatlantic slave trade, but they want to forget the sub-Saharan slave trade. Slave trade when the so-called Arabians sold your forefathers right. to the so-called white men. Bring it out. Decided in the Bible that it would happen. Give me that. Give me that. Matter of fact, we just gonna go get that. Bring it out. All men that you read about being Ishmael. All the Arabians know that's their forefather. They said he'd be a wild man. His hand against everybody and their hand against everybody else. Just like when the Arabians had a Japanese dude. The Japanese think, oh, just because we make technology, they're not going to kill us. They're only mad at America. No, they beheaded that man on camera. Bring it his up. hands against all men. He don't give a damn about not one person on this earth, but his people. Wait. Because he's a wild man. Wait. His hand against everybody. And everybody's, everybody in the world calls the Arabs terrorists. Bring it up. Everybody in the world. Bring it up. Everybody in the world calls it. I know the biggest terrorist in the world is the white man. Bring it up. Bring it up. They're the second biggest terrorist, though. Believe that. They go around bombing stuff. Right. Right. The book of Joel, chapter 3, and verse 1. Uh -huh. For behold, in those days and in that time, uh -huh. when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, bring it up. I will also gather all nations uh -huh. and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh -huh. And I will plead with them for them for my people. So you think the Most High God is really going to sit there and beg with them? No. Pleading means judgment. That's He's right. bringing back a fiery flame to burn up all those that have oppressed our people. That's bring it up. Right. From Esau, the so called white man, to Ishmaelite the so-called Arabians, to the Ammonites, to the Moabites, who are the Chinese, and the Japanese. There's a multitude of people that have got to pay for what they've done to us. Bring it out! Because we are an oppressed people. That's if you right. can't see that, then I don't know what else. Watch this. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down in the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will plead with them there for my people. 
for our people. people. He's, he's saying no plea with them for his people, the so-called the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the twelve tribes of Israel. Right? Read. Right. And for my heritage, Israel, uh -huh. whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Uh -huh. Bring it up. And they have cast lots for my people, uh -huh. and have given a boy for an harlot. Uh -huh. And so they grow for wine. So in slavery, they would make our boys harlots by making them breed. Right. They would have them then sin, making them breed with other women. Even married women, they had, if, you was a, if you was my height, his size, you was breeding. Because they wanted to make super slaves. Bring it up. They That's wanted right. the best slaves to get do the most work. That's what they did. They sold That's women right. for wine. Oh, look at my slave. They call her hags. Right. Look at my hag. You want my hag? Give me some wine. We can trade. Give me some money, we can trade. That's what they did to our people. That's why they're gonna get judgment. That's what, it that's what justice is. That's why God is a just God. Read. That's right. And they have cast lots for my people uh -huh. and have given a boy for an harlot. Uh -huh. And so they grow for wine that they may drink. Uh -huh. Yea, and that and what ye to do with me, O Tyree uh -huh. and Zidon. That's an African nation and another African nation, read. And all the coasts of Palestine. Arabs. They're all getting judged. They will all go into chains. Right. Now, you said something earlier. You said you're African American, right? If I asked you what's your nationality, what would you say, bro? Matter of fact, first of all, what's your name? Troy. All right. My name's Officer Mattathias. How you doing? Uh, how you doing? Well, if I asked you, what would you say? I'll say African American. African American, right? Because that's what we've been taught. Did you know there's brothers up here older than that term, African American? You know, we weren't called African American until the 80s. Before the 80s, we were called Negro. Afro-American, Afro is a hairstyle, so I don't know how the hell we could be Afro-American. Yeah, we are called Negroes, Afro-Americans, niggas, niggers, uh, porch monkeys, coons. Oh. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So how they, why does our name always change? Bring it out. I'm going to show you who we are according to the Bible. Remember, this Bible was written by our forefathers over 3,000 years ago, where I'm about to go to. Deuteronomy, give me that. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Bring it out. I'm gonna even show you a, 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 a curse about our people being bugged out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All Israel, right? These are the words Moses spake unto all Israel, right? Yeah. This is over 3,000 years ago. So remember, the Bible is a book of prophecy, laws, and uh, laws and commandments that we're supposed to keep. It's a book of laws, prophecy, and what's the other one I always say? No, nah, that's prophecy. It's laws, prophecy, and history. In our history. My bad, I had a brain fart. So look, read that. I'm going to get straight to the point first. No, no, go to verse 47. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So, the they it's talking about are the curses. Because when you read Deuteronomy 28, when you start from verse 1 through 14, it talks about the blessings the children of Israel will get from God. As his chosen people, if we kept his law, statutes, and commandments. But then there was a flip side to that. Just like if you're a parent, you got some kids, you go, okay, you do this, that, and the other, you can get, you get, I'll get you something. But if you don't, there's gonna be a punishment, right? That's how you set the standard for the household. This is God setting the standard for his chosen people. If you do this, that, and the other, you'll be above all people on the face of the earth. You'll get these blessings, your fields, your crops, all that things is gonna grow in, right? But if you didn't, you're gonna get the exact opposite. You're gonna get cursed. Bring it up. Blessings and curses. The gift and the curse, to put in modern terms. We all know that, TV. Bring it on. You have the gifts and the curses, right? Now, look. It says they were beyond me for a sign. What does a sign do? Okay. It's a little deeper than that. It's a little direct than that. How would you know that is Marshall without that sign, right? It identifies. That's the word I like to use because identify just gets straight to the point. A sign identifies something. So the Bible is telling us these curses were upon us for a sign. Why? Because in Psalms 83, you read the King David prophesied that all these nations will come together to cut off the name of Israel because they're our enemies. Oh, they weren't right. given these law statutes and commandments. That's right. Right. So they're mad about that. So they're doing their best to keep us in sin because they know once we come out of sin and keep our faith in Christ and start keeping the commandments, one. that we're getting deliverance from this place. That's you right. get what I'm saying? So let's read this Bible. Let's see what the Bible says. Go to 28, 20, uh, 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. The reason in Christianity they teach us not to go to the Old Testament to stay in the New is because if you go in the Old Testament, you will wake up to who you are. The whole transatlantic slave trade and what would happen to us during slavery was prophesied over 3,000 years ago by forefather Moses. So these curses were put upon us for a sign in these last days when we, fat, when we forgot who we were to wake us back up. That's right. Now we're going to see what the Bible says that was written over 3,000 years ago. If it doesn't talk about this, tell me if you can identify what happened. Watch this. This is talking about our forefathers and forefathers. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The in that verse is Israel. Remember, he's talking to Israelites right now. 
That's the only people that this Bible's ever talking to. Right. Not, no right. Not, right. It doesn't change from beginning to the end. Bring it out, huh? Christianity teaches that, oh, it's about the Israelites in the beginning, but when you get to the end, it's talking about everybody. No. That's a, that, that's a dumb book. That'd be an unjust God to bring it out. All the stuff he put us through because we broke his laws and did not give us justice at the end of it for coming back to him. Now read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So, Egypt. Anybody know anything about the Bible when Moses bringing the Israelites out of Egypt and splitting the Red Sea? Did they, if you read the entire Bible, they never went back into Egypt and never went back in on ships to be slaves. Once he delivered them, once he went, once he delivered them from their captivity in Egypt, they never went back captive there. And they sure in the hell didn't go back on ships if they walked out on foot. Now, let's see, because the Bible is its own thesaurus and dictionary. The word Egypt is synonymous with another word, and we're going to get that. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Quick question. What did the Bible just call Egypt? The house of bondage. What's another word for bondage? Bring it out. That's right. So, now let's go back. Because this is how you got to read the Bible. They try to. They don't know how to read the Bible in the Christian church. Because the Bible says in Isaiah 28 that you must read precept upon precept, line upon line. You have to use one verse to back up another verse. That's why they get confused when they get to the New Testament. Bring it out. Huh? Think about the New Testament. Was there any New Testament when they were walking around the teachers of the New Testament? No. It was only the Old Testament that they taught from. That's why you always hear Christ uh, reference up. Isaiah. Paul references, uh, references Isaiah. He references the, the Psalms. He references the laws all throughout his writings. There is no such thing as you don't need to know the Old Testament. Because if you don't know the Old Testament, you can't understand the New. Right. Because that's all they taught from. Bring it up. In, the, in their times when they were walking around, they taught from the Old Testament. That's all they had. That's right. Now read that. So the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he just said Egypt again with ships. So we know they never went back into the land mass Egypt. What is he talking about? House of bondage. Uh -oh. Slavery. That's how you got to read the Bible precept upon precept, right? All right. Bring it out. Right yeah, the, the, uh, the, the, the transatlantic slave trade. When we went off the coast of Africa, because after Christ prophesied in Matthew that we would flee into Africa once Jerusalem got destroyed, in 70 AD, they, we, we set up places all through Africa. We were taken from those places and brought over to North America, what we call North America now. Bring it out! Hold that up. And so, when you read here, we were going to Egypt again with ships. All the things you're going to go into slavery again with ships. Now, watch this. Keep reading. It's deep. Bring it out, huh? By the way wherever I spake unto thee, Bring it out. thou shalt see it no more again. So, what is it saying? The way I said this going to happen to you for breaking God's laws? The way I said you're going to go back into slavery again with ships, it's going to happen, and you're not going to see your homeland again. Yes, Our homeland is Jerusalem, Bring which is the mother of us all. That's yes, right. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you guys are the true children of Israel. That's yes, right. Read. Bring it out, huh? By the way where I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold to your enemies. So when we came to America and got off those slave ships, who were we sold to? Bring it out. So-called white man, right? Because there's nothing white. Right. Look, this is white. You'll never find a so-called white man that walk around like that. The Bible calls him the nation of Edom, red. They come from Esau. His name meant wasted away. That's right. He sold his birthright. God changed his name to Edom, Bring it out. which means red. That's they dwelt in right. Mount Seir. That's where you get Caucasian from, a Caucasoid, a cave dweller. Because they dwelled in a mountain with, with, in caves. Right. They're, they're the scum of the earth. I'm going to tell you that right now. The scum. That's right. So it says, you shall be sold to your enemies. What did the white men do when we got those ships? Rape us, murder us. They would take women that were pregnant, hang them by their hands. Bring it up. Let their gut stomach throw the babies against rocks, the, um, the, feed them, the feed it, fetuses, fetuses, fetuses against rocks. You know what I'm saying? Take toddlers, bury them from the neck down in sand to attract alligators. If anybody loved you, if that was your friendly neighborhood white man, would they have done that to you? No. The Bible calls them our enemies. That's right. Right. This day, shoot us down in the streets. Right. But we want to go out marching, talking about we forgive, we forgive. God doesn't even forgive them. Right. Bring it out. Prophecies in this Bible talking about the so-called white man's destruction. Right. Bring it out. That's right. right. For what they did to the children of Israel. Bring it out. Oh, and we'll get that after this. But more importantly, we need to show you guys how we know you guys are Israelites according to the scriptures. Read that. Bring it out, huh? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Uh -huh. For bond men. Bond slave men. And bond women. Slave women. And no man shall buy you. The word buy. Remember, this is written in old English. Old English. That's a Quaker word for redeem. No man man shall redeem you because in the Bible the Most High says only I can redeem only I can only I can make you come from under my curses That's so Marcus right. Garvey the Black Panther movement the brown berets of the uh, so-called Mexicans who are actually the tribe of Issachar you had uh, Matt Turner Sojourner Truth right Rosa Parks tried to do some standing up Martin King tried to do some standing up Malcolm right. X 
Bring it out. They've all been wiped out because they weren't doing it with God's laws. That's I was right. reading something about that. Even um, Hitler knew. Oh, yeah. Even Hitler knew. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to tell you like this. The so-called white man's crafty. Going against him. That's why Hitler was killing all the Jews. Cause he said, and, he, and he didn't even kill as many Jews as they said. 6,000. Yeah, like only 6,000. They tried to say 6 million. But even if they want to say that, what did they do to us in this tra uh, the transatlantic slave trade? They killed over 100 million, J uh, what we call the tribe of Judah. Then they killed over 200 million natives. Right. That's, that ain't, that's, that's a real holocaust. That's, that's right. Even if it was the so-called 10 million they tried to throw out there, that still ain't but 10%. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So it said we'll be sold unto our enemies for bond men, bond women, and no man will be able to redeem us. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's what I want to do. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So serve our enemies, the so-called white men, right? right? Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who? The Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord send them against us because we broke his law, statutes, and commandments. That's their whole purpose right. to chastise us for the Lord. They calls him, he calls the wicked his sword in Psalms, right? So our punishment, we have to serve our enemies because we was above all nations. We ruled the earth at a point in time. The, earth, the scriptures say the world was made for our sake. But we're in sin. So we're at the base of the society now because we're breaking his laws. It's like this. You're two kids, right? I'm going to use you guys as an example. You tell your babies, you guys go outside and play with the kids. Like, we can go out, we can live amongst other nations. But God said, and you tell your kids, I don't want you doing this, that, and the other, right? So when you go outside, to, when you come back to check on them, and they're outside doing this, that, and the other, who, 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 who are you going to punish out of all the kids outside? Bring it out! Yours. So when we're amongst all the nations, living like them, living like Gentiles, living like heathens, he ain't punishing all nations. That's right. He don't give a damn about them. He made the world for our sake. He made them to serve us. That's why he gave us laws about servi uh, servants in Leviticus. Because they were always made to serve us. Out, huh? We were made the gods of the earth. You read about that in Psalms too. But since we're in sin, now we're in punishment. And God's got a wrath. That Christian guy, they teach in uh, church, white Jesus. Oh, I love everybody. Everybody come to me. Prosper. That ain't God. He's a man of war. He's a God of wrath. That's He's right. a God of vengeance. That's He's a God right. of law and order. That's Bring it out. Right. Bring it out. Bring it out. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Uh -huh. So when the slaves were hungry, who they have to go to? Bring it out. Their enemy. I like that word better. He ain't no master. He's a false master. He's the enemy. That's right. Read. And in thirst. When they was thirsty. The enemy. And in nakedness. They needed clothes. They had to go to the enemy. Now let's bring it up to today, right? Read that for me. Yeah. 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 And in what of all things? Anything they needed. They had to go to master for it, right? These are the curses that were put upon our people. Nobody on the face of this earth went through what we went through. Bring it out. No other nations fit these curses. Right. That's right. Read that. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Hunger. Even till this day, who do our people have to go to when we're hungry? Who do you, wh where are you going to get your food? Bring it out. Grocery store. Owned by who? Right. Your enemies. Read. Right. No. And in thirst. You That's need bottles of water. You need pop, which ain't even healthy for you, but you need pop, juice, bottles of water. You got to go where? To your enemies. Bring it out. Right. right. Even if you go to the little moms and pop stores, the Moabites. The so-called Asian, uh, the so-called uh, Chinese, and the so-called Japanese, and the uh, the Ishmaelites, the, the little duck, 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 ducks that be on the 7-Eleven. Those are all, right. all, all the nations outside of yeah, the Elam's East Indian. That's right. They, they, uh, yeah, bodegas. I was out in New York last August. I, I feel you on that. Read up. Yeah, but when you, all the other nations are enemies. Because they all go contrary to God's laws. God never gave them the laws. He only gave them to the Israelites, right? Right. So when we need to get hung, when we're hungry, thirsty, we got to go to them. And in what of all things? Oh, excuse me. And nakedness. So even with clothes, you got people. You got they. They let our people throw their name on clothes, but they can't get the raw textiles. Kanye West, I think it was like two, three years ago, lost ten million dollars of profit. That's right. And was yeah. pissed off because he couldn't get the raw textiles to make his own clothes. He was able to put his name on clothes. We'll never be able to make the clothes. We got to go to our enemies for everything. Like nah, nah, nigga, you can put your name on them, but you ain't never getting the textiles to do it yourself. You still got to come to us, nigga. Right. Now think about Tulsa, Oklahoma. Bring it out. Bring it out. You got. Uh, what's, the, what's that? What's that? Segregation and separation, right? Well, the only reason segregation ended is because they they seen we didn't need them. When you think about Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street, you guys ever heard of that? This was a a place that blacks established and didn't need the white man. It said it took a year for the black dollar to leave Tulsa, Oklahoma, and go back into the other nation's pocket. But now it's less than 15 minutes. We get some money, we got to go spend it. Right. 
But they ended segregation because they seen what we did without. That's why they bombed that place. The U.S. military literally came in and bombed that place because we were separate, not segregated. Right. We wanted to live amongst our own selves. But then once they did that, it discouraged the black people. That's why you got till this day, we still need these nations. We need these nations to do what we got to do because the Lord said we will serve them of one of all things. So clothing, right? Excuse me. And in want of all things. If you need a marriage license, a driver's license, a passport, right. who do you got to go to? Your Bring enemy. Anything you need in this wicked society, you got to go to your enemy to get. Because that was a curse right. that was put upon our people. Right. Now give me verse 30. Bring it up. Uh -huh. Verse 30. Thou shalt be taught a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Think about slavery. The slaves right. will have wives, right? What did the master do? Come take her out of the slave quarters, pull her in the house, rape her. Mm -hmm. Bring it up. You get what I'm saying? So Bring betrothed out. is marriage. You'll marry a wife and another man shall lie with her. We're going back to the super slaves. They had men that they, uh, they, they made to be breeders. So they bred that man. They'll take your wife out of your quarters and make her go lie with this bigger man so he can make a big baby out of her. Out, That's how another man. Now let's bring it up to today, the stuff we inflict on our own self. Bring it up. Something I used to be part of in my wickedness before I repented knowing who I am. Out, and now I can stand for something. Bring it if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Yeah, if anything right. I speak of is the ways of these other nations that we that's were never right. supposed to live like. But now let's bring it up to today. The way slavery has broke us as a people. That's right. It taught us to go have sex with our brothers. Now people shake, oh, bro, I just, oh, I hit those last night, bro, and she got a boyfriend, oh, or she got a husband. We glorify wickedness. Right. Bring it out, that's bro. nothing but the devil on us. Bring it the scripture out. says in Isaiah, woe to him that calls, that calls evil good and good evil. Will means destruction. That means you're getting death. That's right. right. For living contrary to God's laws. That's and that's what our people right. do. We glorify wickedness. A man that's known as a shooter in the hood. Oh, man. I want to be like him, bro. He's with the shit. That's not biblical. Bring that's the damn devil on our people. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.